So now you all have understood that what exactly exception is and uh, what are the different statements that we need to use to handle the exceptions. Now let's have a look at the syntax uh, with the help of which we'll be able to understand that how exactly we need to handle the exceptions. Here it comes. So the first thing that I was talking about was try block. Uh, there should be a try block and uh, this try block should uh, include the code like this block will include the code which might generate or which might throw an exception, right? So wherever you think that there might uh, be an exception that can occur over here, you should always and always write that code down inside a try block, right? Make sure that you always write it down like that. And, uh, and if in case you do not uh, like write down the code for exception handling, then let me tell you what will happen. If uh, there's a set of code that you've written down in which you have not handled an exception, and if in case an exception occurs, the execution of the program will be halted. And if you do not want that, make sure to handle the exceptions well. So in this try block, you just write down the code uh, which, mm, which you want to execute and which might uh, generate an exception. After that, all what you need to do is you need to write down a catch block. And inside a catch block, you need, you, you have, uh, there is, there is an, uh, there's a parameter that you accept. And that parameter is the ex uh, exception type, which is getting thrown from the try block, right? So let's say there is a exception which is thrown from the try block. So in that case, uh, you need to create catch, uh, catch block and inside the parenthesis, you need to write down a exception uh, in the exception type over here, uh, similar to what we write down for integer a, right? So over here, what we need to write down as a exception and after that, a variable which will refer to the exception which is being thrown at the, uh, in the try block. So over here, you can just give any name, a, b, c or exception e or whatever you want to give, right? But this exception type should be exactly the same uh, type that might be thrown from the try block. Okay. And inside this catch block, you need to write down uh, the code which you want to execute in case there is an exception uh, that occurred, uh, in case there is an exception that occurred inside the try block. So that's what it is. So in this block, you need to write down the code which will handle the exception. That's basically what you need to write down. At least one catch block or finally block must be present. This is something that we have already understood, but yeah, this is how it works. And as I said, there can be more than one catch blocks inside, uh, or in, not inside, but with a single try block. So here it is. Uh, there's another catch that we have added in here. And this exception is the generic exception. Uh, what I mean by generic exception is something that I'll be explaining it to you later in this uh, chapter of exception handling. But uh, this type of exception uh, accepts all the uh, different different types of exceptions. So it's a, it's a super class of all the exceptions, which accepts every type of exception. So if you do not know which exception might be thrown, so all what you can do is just write down exception and a variable name and uh, this code will execute will get executed and will handle the exception whichever way you want it to be or you want it to be handled so yeah this is generic exception and we'll not go deep into it but yeah what i was trying to explain you was that there can be more than one catch blocks right this is one and this is two that's it next finally so finally doesn't have, doesn't uh, take any parameter or doesn't have any parenthesis or anything. And the reason is very, very simple because it doesn't capture or it doesn't accept uh, any parameter which is thrown from the try block because it executes irrespective of uh, an exception being thrown in the try block or not, right? So irrespective of uh, this try block uh, throws an exception, finally block will always get executed if it is present with a try catch or yeah with a, with a try block so yeah this is a simple syntax and uh, when when i say whenever i say blocks try curly braces curly braces off finally finally curly braces in curly braces off so that's all what it is so i hope uh, you are able to understand the syntax very very well now it is time for us to move on and see how actually we need to Handle exceptions into Apex coming up.